Hey yo, what's up? Welcome on it's a panibagong video. So for today, uh, I'd like to share with you guys one of um, an NFT upcoming game na talaga namang napakaraming nag-aantabay. So this is, well, probably you've already heard of it. Uh, sila yung magiging parang inspired ako yung game sa Axie Infinity but this one is built on uh, Binance Smart Chain so we're expecting a cheaper gas fee. So without further ado, umpisa na natin yung video. Yun, so the game is called Monster Infinite. So, sabi nila, ito yung white paper nila. Ang sabi nila, Monsta Infinite is a decentralized game universe where anyone can earn tokens through playing the game competitively or for leisure. So, ito yung kanilang website. Actually, ang ganda ng website nila. It's very impressive, no? At very responsive din. Um, very colorful. So, napaka-eye-catchy niya, no? So, basahin natin yung kanilang white paper. Ang sabi niya, Sabi nila, why we started Monster Infinite. So, the inception of the Monster Infinite AD was on February 21. Uh, plan was to fork Axie Infinity and imitate it on every possible aspect as we as we see the potential of a lower entry cost. So, nakikita nila yung current problem sa Axie Infinity na masyadong malaki yung funds na ilalabas mo para makapag-start ka ng team or para makapaglaro ka. So, ang naisip nila ng paraan is build something... Um, similar on Binance Smart Chain. Okay? So, ito din, i, tag dito, in-address din nila kung ano yung current problem. So, this is, these are the problem. Pay to win the conventional MMORPG problem of veterans losing the competition to richer players with less skill. This will create fast growth of disparity between the poor and the rich. Gaya ng nangyayari ngayon, halimbawa, sa Axie Infinity, if you have uh, a better team, which is most likely a an, ex, an, an expensive team, mas malaki yung chance mo na, na maka-climb dun sa rankings. Eh, sa ngayon nga, because of the recent updates, yung rewards, SLP rewards sa Axis, depende na sa kung gaano kataas yung MMR na maaabot mo. So, at least, ngayon pa lang sila, ina-address na nila yung magiging possible problem. And, Pangalawang problem na nakikita nila is the overpopulated pets, characters. If there isn't a proper balancing mechanism, overpopulation will surely happen and weaker pets' value will eventually crash, crash and leave no liquidity. So, ganun din sa Axie. Kung mapapansin nyo, napakaraming chapsoy na Axies. I don't know kung ano pang pwedeng gawin doon. Kasi yung iba, yung iba siguro magagamit mo talaga with proper uh, partnering, yung talagang pasok sa nilang mga skills. Energy, cost, uh, tsaka yung positioning ng Axis, siguro magagawin nyo ng paraan. But, for sure, there will be Axis na talagang walang gamit na parang sayang lang talaga. So, ano nang mangyayari doon? Sayang na yung pagmimint doon. So, nakikita din nilang yung, nakikita din nilang problema yun. So, probably, ang gagawin nila rito is pwede mong magamit yung yung let's say yung pet mo or yung monster mo and then you burn it or something like that you you guys get the idea and also the absence of player hierarchy mobile game has been a huge success as it provides enjoyment to all different hierarchy of players players get to match with other players that are the same range of capabilities yon so walang player hierarchy walang MMR lang ang meron. Walang actual rankings. Unlike MOBA, there's sa LOL, may bronze, iron bronze, silver gold, platinum, diamond, uh, master, and master, challenger. Sa Dota, meron din ganun. May, uh, ano ba pinakamababa? Herald, Guardian, Crusader, Legend, Ancient, tapos, Immortal. Tama ba? Hindi ako nagkakamali. Yun. So, um, if you guys want to see the, the white paper, I will put the link down below, the description. Doon ko na lang ilalagay lahat. 
So, it's a play-to-earn game. You have to compete in PvP battles to win the reward prizes. So, cloning monster. So, dito naman ang tawag nila cloning instead of breeding. Dito, cloning ang tawag. And you can also sell your monster sa marketplace. Collecting and speculating on rare monsters such as Legendary and Inception. So, ang, ang counterpart naman yan sa Axie are those Origins and um, ano man tawag dun? Mystic Axies. Okay? Investing in land that can be used for virtual events in the open world. Meron din ang Axie niya, Axie Land. Farming for the in-game currency that are needed to clone monster. These can be sold on exchanges. So, ito naman yung parang SLP na makikita, ma-earn nyo sa adventure. So, ang mission nila is to make the power of internet finance easy to understand, accessible to everyone, um, fueled by the internet. Yeah, so we get it. Their vision is to make a blockchain game, gaming a fun and inspiring reality, enhance the technology of blockchain and gaming, create a virtual world filled with vibrant community art and art, accelerate and realization of universal basic income. So, ito talaga napaka, ano no, ano bang, napaka revolutionizing, re re revolutionary idea right now. So, sino ba namang mag na, before, tayo pa yung gumagastos sa laro para lang mag-enjoy tayo. Ngayon, kapag gumastos tayo sa laro, meron na tayo ring pagkakakitaan. So, ito yung siguro gusto nilang ma-achieve, no? Yung maging inormalize yung pag-earn sa paglalaro. Okay? And, syempre, ni-utilize nila yung advantage ng blockchain technology. Ang gusto kong makita nila, ang gusto kong gawa nila ng paraan is how to avoid yung mga scammers or yung mga nahahack na account. So, sabi kasi ng Axie team, napakahirap daw mag-connect ng 2FA for blockchain technology. Actually, ako may naiisip ako, um, pwede silang mag, if someone wants to give an Axie, so, siguro maglagay sila ng separate tab for gifting Axies, and then, in order for a user to get into that tab, Pwede, doon sila maglalagay ng 2FA. Not doon sa actual process of gifting Axie. Kasi yun ang medyo mahirap. si integrate mo yung 2FA doon sa blockchain technology. But what if they do yung... If, but if they put the 2FA on a certain tab for gifting, I think doon natin may iwasan yung mga nakahack na Axie. I mean, kahit mahack nila yung account, if they don't have the 2FA, wala rin silang magagawa. Hindi rin nila maigigif yung mga axes. So, that's one thing na naiisip kong solusyon dun sa mga nahahack. Okay? So, now let's go to the gameplay. Ito maganda kasi meron silang lore. Merong, uh, ano, may storyline. Sig hindi ko sure kung meron sa axe. Kasi 2018 pa, hindi ko na matandaan kung meron sila. But this one, meron, ito talaga meron. So... Scientists of human civilization, civilization believe that the Big Bang from 13.8 billion years ago is the point in which the universe first began expanding, initiating the age of the universe, forming all the galaxies, stars, planets, and the miracles of life. Among the planetary mass in the galaxy, are there any signs of life and living? Shani, with its resourceful fossil lands and young. Okay, so... Prior to dinosaurs or human be beings, sa Shani planet, meron nang nag exist at ang tawag sa kanila ay Monsta. Okay? It, it, they are mythical and ancient civilization. So, isa silang enigmatic and peculiar species. Pag sinabing peculiar, kakaiba, nobody knows of their origins. Creator, they do not identify as either gender. Okay? Maganda ito kasi meron silang actual description. So, the description is kind of vague. Pero, nakakadagdag siya dun sa exciting nung game. Kung mahilig kayo talaga sa lore, uh, like League of Legends, each characters, each heroes uh, has its own lore. So, this is actually very, very interesting. So, at the end of the darkest and longest decent towards extinction, they achieve an unthinkable success on biological experimentation by fabricating a genetic fusion, extract two monster, stamen, stamen telus combined. So, ito yata yung, ano, yung parang SLP nila. Ito yung tinatawag na STP token combined with the citrus furnace. The first genetic clone of two inception monster. 
okay was produced ultimately remaining 480 so it 4088 so ito yata yung kanilang origin monster decided to sell themselves okay so ito yung magiging para magiging mga origin mga legendary take a short one legendary but this is like the starting monster yung mga very very rare okay Mm, nine classes of monster three nations each of the class has their respective class and domain and it is categorized as either strength add or int each category affects the attribute of the monster too so actually nakita ko na to no pero hindi ko gaano nabasa so ngayon ko lang ngayon ko lang din ulit silang talagang babasahin so this video might be uh, it might be long but mm, pipilitin natin hindi siya maging ganong kahaba. Ang gaganda ng characters, no? Sana itong mga animation na ginagawa nila is ganun talaga pagdating dun sa gameplay. Kasi sayang naman, ang ganda ng pagkakadrawing, ang ganda ng pagkaka-animate, baka masyadong tumaas yung ating expectations Tapos pagdating sa gameplay, eh, eh. Pero, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Kasi mukhang maganda naman yung team. Maganda naman yung umpisa nila. Alright, so, ito yung cyborg so usually armored sila cyborg half half robot something like that ito naman yung elf walang distinct basta pag ganito parang robot matic cyborg pag elf naman um, wala eh yung parts nila so yung tenga walang bibig so may ganyan may dahon or Usually, pag work, mga fighter, kaya ganyan ang kanilang itsura. Okay. So, for cloning naman, so ito yung tinasabing bleeding. Alright. So, ito nga yung ginagamit for cloning is the Stamen Telus Token or STT. In order to... So, since walang reproductive system ang mga monster, in order for them to reproduce, the genes of the two monster has to be fused in a citrus furnace to undergo synthesis cloning with the help of stamentelos. Okay. So, stamentelos yung gagamitin mo for cloning. Uh, In-game currency. So, ito yung counterpart ng SLP. Okay. Since cloning is a monster cost money. Okay. So, money is the governance token. Ang katumbas nito sa Axie is the AXS token or the Axie Infinity token. Depending on how many times the monster has been cloned or a maximum Oh, okay. all right. So very, very similar to, um, to Axie Infinity. So, meron ding mga body parts ang isang monsta, may head, may face, body, back, arms, legs. Okay. So the result of augmented body part will be varied based on the monster core characteristic. Reproduce. Itong core characteristic, ito naman yung parang dominance, at saka, uh, recessi, re, ano yan? Basta yung genes, yun na yan. <laughs> the augmentation mechanism solves the problem of overpopulation. As player has to sacrifice monster in order to... Okay, ito yung maganda. So, kung meron silang mga weak or let's say mga uh, monster na hindi mo ganun magagamit because of their parts or probably wala ka talagang paggagamitan, pwede mo silang i-sacrifice para lumakas pa yung monster team nyo. Dahil doon, yung supply at demand ng monster ay mananatiling balance. Eh. So, yun yung naisip nilang paraan. Yun yung, actually, most of the people who play, who plays, uh, most of the people who play Axie Infinity, yun din yung naisip nila. Less monster in circulation, we can release fresh starter monster to keep the entry slow for new players. Yun, maganda yun, no? yung naisip nila. Um, sa sacrifice ka ng monster para palakasin ang inyong team. So, for battling system, Monster Infinite combines turn-based card battle system with match 3 puzzle system to play a more competitive and interesting uh, battling gameplay. So, yung turn-based card game, yun yung parang sa Axie, yung merong lalabas ng mga cards, and then salitan kayo, though, well, well, wala pa yung nilalabas na documents about skills and everything. And then, ito naman yung kanilang pang parang minigame. Ganun stone align. Ito yung mag-align ka ng tatlo. Um, combines turn-based card battle system which 
with a match 3 puzzle system to play. Okay. Maganda to kasi bukod dun sa actual game, dun sa main game, meron pa silang mga mini game. We designed the gameplay by using this logic to create a more competitive in-game battle experience and increase the excitement and challenges in the game. Assemble your team now with a minimum of 3 months to save them from Jilaka and earn their planet resources. Okay. Alright, so itong survival siguro yung kanilang adventure. Monster War, ito naman yung PvP. Synthesis cloning, ito yung bleeding. Alright, so balik tayo sa kanilang battling. Sa kanilang ano, white paper. So matchmaking and ranking. So ito namang, mga mga na to, inspired by puzzles and dragons. There are five color orbs with each of representing class attribute, okay? As the dragon or we, right? Okay, okay. So the board then cascades, known as Skyfall combos. All right. Game system will. Okay. All right. So matchmaking and rank. Matchmaking will be based on a system by Arpad Elo, a physics professor that came out with Elo rating system that. Considers various number of factors such as rank, recent match results, skill level of player, attributes of monsters, etc. Such system would allow. Okay, so meron silang mga ilo ilo yun na yung MMR. So hopefully maganda yung balance talaga yung MMR nila, no? So intent check pa natin yung iba crafting, may co building, may hosting events. Ato maganda. Dun sa land game, I mean dun sa land mode nila, players can give permission to other players to cooperate and contribute assets to their land, allowing others to build together. So ito parang siguro makakatipid kayo kasi meron kayong katulong sa pagbibuild. So kung nga mag kayo, kung magkaibigan kayo, gusto nyo maglaro nito, pwede nyo nang pagtulungan yung pagbubuo ng inyong land. Okay? So for hosting events, players are allowed to invite others to their lands and host variety of events. Those can initiate a party game social activities. So very, very exciting, you know. Um, so it's pretty much the same with Decentraland, if you guys have heard of it. Decentraland is parang 3D MMORPG na NFT game din siya na pwede kang, yung ibang na nag, nag uh, ano pa sila dun eh, nag hold pa sila ng exhibit doon, mga NFT, mga paintings na namin na to NFTs. Dun sila nag i-initiate ng party. So, ito, maganda rin to. So, sana lahat ng sinabi nila dito sa gameplay eh talaga namang matupad nila. Ito ang pinaka-importanting part nitong white paper for me. I think yung long-term sustainability. Kasi, uh, for example, the Ax Axie Infinity um, has been established 2018. So, 18, 19, 20, parang after 3 years, saka pala, saka pala talaga sila nag-start mag-boom. And now, after nung booming nila, saka palang nila nakita yung actual problem kapag napakarami ng users. And also, since yung SLP is unlimited ng supply. So, Monster Infinite is a platform that combines virtual gaming with the reality of the market. The past game has its own players do not represent ownership and does not carry any intrinsic intrinsic value in the real world. Often, often the end of the game project costs all player invested time and money to be lost. Even for a valuable in-game item, okay, alright, okay, when players want to admire. Alright, so the invention of the NFT standard allow buyers to keep their proprietary rights to their original assets and allow monetization of virtual assets in the real world. Consequently, all the in-game items will be tokenized. And buyers will retain full ownership of items and defense selling rights. Okay. Alright. So, Monster Infinite is a game that relies on strategy and technique with limited possibilities of expansion to bring gamers around a world of fun and rich experience. In addition, outstanding players will be awarded with STT and money tokens. Okay. Alright. So, nothing much. Inception Monster. So, itong Inception Monster, ito nga yung parang mga origin uh, um, monster. Ito yung first batch, limited to 4,088 units with ID from 1 to 4088. Probability of get legendary body parts released in the game. Okay. Price curve from 0 point to BNB to 1 point BNB. Okay. So, ito yung allocation ng 
4,088 inception months ta. So, sa sale, maglalawa sila ng 2,088. Sa pre-sale reward, 1,000. In-game contest and campaigns, 500. So, ito, naman, ito yung parang breakdown nung gagawin nilang pag-allocate ng mga origin months ta. 2,088 months ta will be, si- will be held on 1st of September 2021. Malapit na, no? So, mag-ipon na kayo, guys. Kung gusto nyong mag-participate dito sa unang pre-sale nila. Ang unang pre-sale nila magkakaroon ng 10% discount, I think. So, Inception Months will be selling on a bond curve. Okay. Number one Inception Months will be priced 0.2 BNB. Okay, very good. The redeeming will open on... Okay. So, pag nakabili ka ng Inception Months, ta, hindi mo pa siya makukuha agad-agad. Makukuha mo sila on the 12th of October. Alright, so every redeem will have a chance of being born with legendary parts. The probabilities are below. Alright, so, okay. So single, double. Okay, napaka krabe para makakuha ka ng six part legend. I mean six legendary parts. <laughs> One chance in thirty four million. So it dito sa four thousand eighty eight. Dito sa two thousand eighty eight na ibibigay nila ilalabas nila sa September 1st, good luck na lang kung meron talagang makakakuha niyan. Alright. So, pre-sale 1, uh, 5,400, no, 540,000 money tokens ang for sale. Merong discount na 10%. Ang price, 1 BNB is equals to 2,700 money. Uh, minimum is 1 BNB, maximum, no maximum. Sale method is first come, first serve. White listing address, 400. Alright, so, before... Ang whitelisting is 200 lang dun sa unang pre-sale nila. But they suddenly made a decision. Uh, kailan ba nila in-announce yun? Actually, in-announce nila very, very recent lang. Na from 200, they increased the uh, whitelisting from 200 to 400. Uh, because of the demand that they are seeing. Kasi talagang ang daming nag-aabang ng larong to. So... Yan. That's basically it. Tapos, yung pangalawang pre-sale naman, wala nang discount, pero mas maraming ilalabas. 9.8% ng token supply. So, ang pra- dito naman, 1 BNB is 2.4. Nung kanina, 2.7 lang. So, mas maganda kung makakapasok kayo dito sa unang pre-sale, no? So, no max contribution, minimum 0.1, unlimited. So, kung hindi kayo nakapasok sa una, talagang mas malaki yung chance na makakuha kayo ng uh, slot dito sa pangalawang pre-sale. So, 0.1. Uh, initial market cap is around $5 million, no? Okay. So, kung gusto nyo makita itong allocation na to, nasa, ano to, nasa white paper, puntahan nyo lang. Only whitelisted address is allowed to participate in the pre-sale. Basically, KYC will be required in the whitelisting. So, abangan nyo, no? I- I-follow nyo sila dun sa kanilang Twitter account. Mag-join din kayo sa Discord and Telegram group nila kasi active sila dun. Actually, pati sa Facebook, i-like nyo rin yung page nila kasi active din sila dun. Active sila mag-announce lahat. Actually, meron silang giveaway. Um, 10? Exception months na ba yun? Pero patapos na eh. Ito, yung giveaway nila magka-cut off na. Oh. So, kung hindi kayo naka-join, sayang naman. I think I joined there pero hindi ko sure. Napakahirap manalo niyan. Um, so, ayun lang, no? Napakagandang laro. Hintay natin talaga itong lumabas. I'm very, very excited for this. Uh, nag-join ako dun sa giveaway. Nag-aabang ako ng white kapag meron ng, ano, ng white listing. Actually, pwede ka rin, ano? Pwede ka rin bumili through um, tinatawag nilang private sale. Kaya lang, Uh, nag-inquire kami dun sa kanilang team kung magkano yung minimum for the private sale. Ang sabi ng team nila is 100 BNB. So, that's around 2 million pesos kung gusto mo ng private sale. So, ikaw, kayo, kung meron kayong ganong kalaking pera and you guys are willing to invest in, in, a, in a game like this, go for it. I think the future is very, very good. Napakaganda na magiging future nitong laro nito. So, I think it's gonna be worth it. Okay? So, for questions or clarifications, um, comment lang kayo or 
like nyo na rin yung FB page ko tapos doon na kayo mag-comment mas active ako doon though nagre-reply din naman ako sa comment sa aking YouTube channel and thank you sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa aking mga previous videos um, I gained like 200 subscribers ang bilis thank you guys thank you salamat salamat at yan hanggang dito na lang ang video natin lahat ng links na kailangan nyo ay nandun sa description see you guys on the next one